Good morning, YouTube. Donald Black American Highlander here. It is 5.04 a.m. in the Highlands of southeastern Kentucky, and I am pissed. Before we get into the who's and why's, check out this new haircut. Isn't it electrifying? Alright, yesterday I thought I was going to have a nice uh, unboxing video and maybe even... Uh, testing out this uh, knife that I got from Bud Kaya. It's, it, it's uh, 420. I forgot what the Chinese name for it was, but it, it was the big M48 Sabotage Tanto, and I was really excited about it because, you know, it's freaking heavy, something heavy, and I want to get used to using heavier knives to, you know, manipulate them and stuff, and, well, anyway, I ordered the thing. I got the thing. I, uh, see, it was shipped from Georgia, Bud K, C H Fidels, whatever. Uh, in Georgia, it shipped it uh, on the seventh at six forty-two p.m. Now, yesterday, uh, let me see where it was. Anyway, it had been turned over to friggin' uh, USPS from UPS. I don't, I, I don't know what. I don't want to waste your time, I guess, uh, trying to look at this, uh, ledger here, but anyway, on the 11th, at 5.55 a.m., it was in Pikeville, Kentucky, and it had a destination scan. Now, Pikeville was like 45 minutes from where I live, 45 minutes from the post office. Okay, so if you got something in Pikeville, by God, it should be in the mail by the time the mail is put up. It fuck or friggin', uh, I think 11 o'clock is the deadline that they have to have all the first class up, and it was first class. I paid for first class shipping, and guess what? The 11th, yesterday, at 11.32, the voucher says, package transferred to post office. Okay, that's where it goes from UPS to USPS at 11:32. All right, so I keep an eye on this stuff. Like I said, if we had crackage packaging when I was a kid, I got the hell beat out of me for aggravating people for you know when's my stuff going to be here? When's my stuff going to be here? But anyway, I'm an adult and I'm even worse, and I'm still pissed. At 11:32 a.m. That package was transferred to the post office. 12.15 p.m., you know, 15 minutes after noon, it was scanned, received by the local post office. They had scanned my package, my knife, the knife I wanted to unbox and make a video, maybe cut some freaking water bottles, something I've never got to do. You'd have to get into the details of my first merge to understand that, but anyway, 1215. Received. They scanned it. <coughs> so, you know, I looked at this at about 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon. Had lunch with my wife and the wee Miss Morgan, and I checked this after lunch. And now, this is like 2 30, I guess. I go to the post office at 2.30. I take my tracking numbers. I turn them in. And they said, it's not scheduled for delivery to tomorrow. Come back tomorrow and get your package, even though we've got it scanned. At 12.15. Now, why can't I have my package if they've got my package at the post office? Up until about Christmas of this past year, you know, that was possible. But right before Christmas, I received a notice on packages that I'd ordered, items I'd ordered, said it was in the post office, right? Well, I went to pick it up, and the little lady there, she should be retired, Dolores. Dolores, why are you working? You're too old. I got nothing against the elderly or nothing, but if you can't function 
and at least 50% at the job you're in, retire. Let somebody younger take over. Let somebody step up that's working there into your position. Go home. Enjoy your family and your grandkids. But yesterday's package has nothing to do with Dolores, but Dolores has something to do with the whole thing. Right before Christmas, I went to check on a package because I had received a notification that the post office had accepted it. All right. The woman tells me, in the end, it comes down to this. She says, I've not got time to go in the back and check. When I got in the post office, there was only one person in there besides me. She was licking her envelope, putting her stamps on, and dropping her stuff in the mail and leaving. I was the only person in the post office. Dolores was just standing around twiddling her thumbs at the 41553. Yeah, anyway. So, I get pissed. And, I mean, I get pissed. I've had some bad service at that post office. But this, that, that pissed me off that I came home and I filed a complaint with the Postmaster General about the, the treatment and her behavior. And you know what kind of good it done? It done no good at all. You know why? Because nobody that means anything got to see it. You make a complaint... And it goes straight to the post office you complained about. Alright? Now, away from here, you might get results. But in Phelps, at the 41553, they're all clicked up and they friggin' protect each other. They shield each other. Alright? And all they do is when they, you know, yeah, the Postmaster General gets a thing says complaint filed. But they don't see it. It goes straight back to the office. And the postmaster at Phelps, she uh, insulates her elderly over the hill workers, right? And she just sends her results back uh, issue resolved. Okay? That's it. Issue resolved. Big deal. The customer is screwed. In Phelps, anyway. But, up until that point that I made the complaint, if my packages got there earlier than expected, I got my packages. But now, since I filed a complaint against them, I guess I'll have to friggin' wait until it is time for them to be delivered. Tell me why. Why and how can they do that? How are they allowed to? My package was received, my package was scanned, they wouldn't give me my package. If anybody has any legal reason that they can do that, please let me know. Partly, it's out of spite because I complained against them, you know, back... And I was treated as, I was treated shitty, and the, law, the lady treats all kinds of people shitty. They go to pay for stuff with their card, and while they're getting their card out, they're not even going for the machine. The old bag was, ah, wait, 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 don't put it in yet, wait, I'm not ready. And they're like, hey, you know, I'm just getting ready. I wasn't sticking it in your machine. You know, we've probably done this 10,000 times. And you this is probably the first time you've ever seen a credit card machine, debit card machine. We know how to use them. <coughs> Dolores. But like I said, Dolores wasn't at the center of this one. I'm just saying, I made a complaint against Dolores. The Postmaster General didn't see it. Galita, Melita, Padlita, who cares? She gets the complaint. She sends back issue resolved. She told me so, but it doesn't matter. Since I made a complaint, I don't get my mail. Until the very last friggin' minute. Somebody please tell me why that they can do this. Other than out of spite towards me. Donald Black American Highlander. Pissed off. See you in the next one.